Hello, we are Maria and Anders. This is our cat Milmiz von Olsen. We are Olsen the Danes. Welcome to our channel. Here we will show you small fragments of our life. Here you can follow us in our travels, cooking and DIY projects. Please follow us and like our videos. It means everything to us. Hi and welcome. Today we are going to make French nougat. This will be our first attempt. We haven't done this before. So hopefully it will be a success and you're welcome to try it yourself. We will put the recipe in the description below. If you try it yourself, please put a comment and tell us how it went and how you thought of it. Hope you will enjoy it. For this recipe, we are going to use 125 grams of almond, has to be blanched, 50 grams of pistachio, unsalted, 275 grams of sugar, 150 grams of honey, then I'm going to use 150 grams of water boiled up with uh, citrus zest. Uh, this one here is from a mandarin. And then we're going to make uh, use two egg whites. First, we put the citrus zest in 150 grams of water and boil it up. When it begins to boil, Keep it there for 30 seconds to extract the flavor of the mandarin. After it has boiled, cool it down and sift the mandarin away from uh, the water. And now you have a, a nice mandarin flavored water to use for the base of your French nougat. Now it's time to roast the almonds and the pistachio. We're going to do that in a preheated oven at 140 centigrade um, for approximately 10 minutes. We just evenly distribute the almonds on a baking plate and the pistachio. So we're going to get them nice and crisp. crisp. They may not uh, roast too much, just slightly nice and golden in color. Now the oven has preheated to 140 centigrade. We're going to put the almonds on the pistachio in it. Set a timer for 10 minutes and let's see what happens. So now that the 10 minutes has gone, it is time to take out the roasted almonds and pistachios. Oh, you can hear them popping just perfect. Remember to turn off your oven. And now we're just going to let them cool off. So they will be ready for the French nougat. While we are waiting for them to cool off, we will begin to beat our egg whites. They have to be very stiff and fluffy. It's very important that none of the yolk comes within, otherwise it, uh, it won't get stiff and fluffy. And now we're going to beat the eggs, so it will be a bit noisy. So 
So when it's perfect, you should be able to turn it around and it won't come out. Now it is time to make the syrup. Very important thing about that is the temperature has to be between 148 and 150 centigrades. If it gets too high, you will begin to burn the sugar and it will darken the, the French nougat and it won't be as, as white. But we're going to mix the water and the sugar, put on medium heat, take the honey as well and rub it in. This honey here is specially made from my brother's own, own homestead in Norway. It's very delicious. He has beehive. They flourish in the woods of Norway. All the honey comes from the flowers. Uh, um, um, well, everything with, with trees that are growing in, in Norway. So, let's get this one up to temperature. And there you are. Now it's ready to be combined with the whipped eggs. So it has to be poured in very, very slow while you're beating it. There you are, French nougat. And now we are going to put in the almonds and pistachio. Just gently turn them in. So they are nice, evenly distributed. And they're all covered. Nice and thick, creamy. It's going to be so delicious. Then we're going to take a tray. It's quite hot, if you wonder it. So the, the sugar and honey were 148 centigrades. So watch out, no small children around you when you're doing it. But I'm sure they will love to lick the beater when you're done. Now we're going to take a parchment, push it in over, and now we are going to put it someplace cool to cool off, and we will look at it in a couple of hours and see what happened. I'm hoping it's good. It's the first time we've ever done this, so 
Let's hope it's a success. Otherwise, you'll know in a moment. Now some time has passed. And the nougat is quite stiff and hard, so I think it's ready to, to try a small piece. Let's see what happens. Well, it looks delicious, just a bit to the soft side, but I'm pretty sure that in 24 hours it will have settled down and it will be just perfect. The color is it's very nice. You can see the pistachio and the almond inside of it. It's very sticky, so let's try. Mm. very soft, very sweet. Mm. That's some of the best French nougat I've ever tasted. Even though it's a bit soft, but I'm pretty sure it will harden up and be very, very good after a day or two in the fridge. Thanks for watching. Until next time.